Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 11, and today we're talking about the noise module. So let's go to right click, in it preset, and let's double click this oscillator one to disable it for now, and then click the cell below it, and let's select noise number one. So we have two different noise modules. We have one and two, and I don't really feel like you have to use more than two for a lot of things. So two, it seems quite plenty enough. But anyway, so we have four different choices of noise. So the first one's gonna be white noise. Then we have pink noise which is kind of like white noise, just a little bit darker sounding. And then we have digital, which is a square wave with random polarity. And then we have crackles. So what's kind of interesting about these different kind of noise types is according to the noise that we have selected, the low pass and high pass will act a little bit differently. So if we're in white noise, the low pass is going to be a traditional low pass. Same with the high pass. Same thing goes for the pink noise, which is good to make kind of wind sounds or something like that if you'd like to. And then we have the high pass as well. So for these two noises, it pretty much makes sense what these knobs do. However, if we go into digital, for example, here, this low pass here is going to be the pitch for this noise. And then the high pass adds more irregularity, so it kind of sounds interesting. So there's a lot of uses for really weird sounds like this that you could use. And these are all modulatable with these knobs down up here if you'd like to do so. Next up, we have the crackle. So the crackles for the low pass is basically going to be a 6 dB low pass as normal, right? Kind of cutting off the cutting off the top frequencies. But then the high pass is a little bit different because this reduces impulse probab probability and it kind of sounds like this. So it almost sounds like something's kind of just dirt in the cables or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird noise sound, but definitely usable. So that's basically the, di the differences between these noise and the low pass and high pass. So let's go back to pink noise and double click these for default. So we have a choice of mono, which is basically that. Let's turn down this volume again. And then we have stereo, which massively increases the size of this noise. So then we have a pan here, pretty self-explanatory. And you can modulate this as well. Then we have our volume, which we just saw a little bit ago. And then we have our width knob. But keep in mind, if you're in mono, this doesn't necessarily, is gonna cause a change, right? So we can move this all day. And it's kind of useless. It's only once we're in stereo, that that's really gonna have an effect. So this module isn't really complicated or hard to use. It's definitely something we have to cover in the course. So there's a couple little quirks here, like I said too, with the digital and the crackles, depending on what you choose with the low pass and the high pass. So that's kind of really the only stuff that we may not know about if we don't use it, but that's kind of the main thing about the noise. It's really good sounding noise and it's useful once we start getting into comb filtering, which is gonna happen a little bit later in the course, but that's gonna be a really, really uh, fun video because the comb filter is pretty cool. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.